So like, basically anything dissolvable is, is, is the best. probably the safer bet because God forbid it gets into a blood vessel mm. and you get an occlusion and the tissue starts to die. The thing with lips and filler is like, I think on Instagram you see just a lot of big everything. Big, 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 big. Mm -hmm. But real people, everyday people who aren't really like on Instagram, they like subtle, as in they're just looking for their lips but better. Mm -hmm. It's gonna come down to product choice because there's some fillers that are good at one thing and some fillers that are good at another. So if I wanted my lips um, to be a little bit more shape uh, you guys like you if you want to just shape but no volume in the red mm -hmm. then I would pick a filler that's good at definition mm -hmm. if you were just looking for fluff because you're like I have a strong lip line but they're flat mm -hmm. I just need plump then I would pick something that plumps oh, and okay. if you're somebody who wants both we have a filler that's capable of giving you juicy plus definition oh. and it's also down to the technique that the person chooses to use on you because mm -hmm. like if you ever see those girls that get the migration where it's like, mm -hmm. like it looks like the filler above their lip, that's usually wrong product choice and wrong technique putting it in. Because mm -hmm. then you probably put it in a way that like you created a, an opening for it to kind of migrate outside of where you put it. It tends to happen more with certain fillers than others, like ones that are better for fluffy. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't like using fluffy to define somebody. Mm -hmm. Like if somebody wants lips, I ask them before I even open any, before I even bring a box in here, I say, mm -hmm. what are you looking for? I want definition. Well then I sure as heck I'm not gonna pick the fluffy one. Because mm -hmm. then you're just gonna have this really round kind of sausage looking outline. Mm -hmm. You would want something soft but structured enough to give you a lip line almost like you don't need an overline anymore because you've mm -hmm. defined it. So what would be um, the filler to define? What would you... What do I like? Yeah. Like if I was going to do yours and you mm -hmm. told me you just wanted definition and you're uh -huh. not looking for big, I love refine. Because refine. refine tends to, when it heals, feel like your own lips still. Mm -hmm. I love refine. I have a lot of influencers come in and they all like Bratz doll and they're like that's my aesthetic and that's mm -hmm. fine that's totally fine they love the big juicy they love their juvederms they love their defined big my my personal aesthetic as an injector and the patients that I like to work on the most are the ones that are just like I'm just trying to look like me mm -hmm. but like a little bit like upgraded like yeah. <laughs> I just like I want to I want to see a difference mm -hmm. but I don't want anyone to look at me and tell me I look done Mm -hmm. Then those ones I love refine on them, or mm -hmm. even if, if they're even more conservative than that, like a kiss. Wrestling kiss is really like she knows she did something, but nobody mm -hmm. else would know unless they were really mm -hmm. paid attention. Okay. Refine is your Goldilocks who's like in the middle, and she's like she could go either way: <laughs> definition, fluff, subtle, doesn't look overdone. And then my big juicy girls are just like oh, boom. They might be more like a define or a juvederm or like thing juvederm ultra. Like they like the fluff and the juice. So you but guys most hear everyone, those names. Mm -hmm. So if you want a certain type of lip, you, you have, have to, to tell your injector, man. Yeah, you gotta. That's why I tell people like. Don't book an appointment without a consult. Cause like people are like, I know I want lip filler. They'll book the appointment for the lip filler, but then they never had a chance to meet the person mm -hmm. who's gonna do their injections, so they could talk about what they want. Before. It cuts off sometimes. Oh. So hopefully you guys got that last part. It cuts off. Yeah, it, it 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 comes down to picking your injector. So like if you pick somebody who's like into doing super snatch big everything but mm -hmm. you're somebody who likes natural it's like finding a hairstylist that's not a match mm -hmm. like you gotta find somebody who i like that she does very natural work or soft work mm -hmm. i think that's like my ideal match it's like finding a hairstylist and then like you have to kind of like gauge like word of mouth if there's somebody like a friend who's like i love how your lips came out who did you go to mm -hmm. you can't beat a word of mouth referral because mm -hmm. then she can tell you i've met her she's worked on me her hands have been on me she's good that's definitely way better than like oh just i mean this clinic this instagrammer promoted it and like i'm just gonna go like right. you gotta like research your ejectors the same way you would look up like people's hair before and after mm -hmm. so what is uh injections that should never be in your lips or your face silicone 
silicone. Never get silicone. Never let somebody talk you into getting radius in your lips because that's calcium. It's not hyaluronic. Mm -hmm. It's not dissolvable and it's not meant for lips. Silicone and the hyaluron pen, mm -hmm. don't get that needleless pen. I had to dissolve five girls this week because it mm -hmm. left them super botched, super bumpy. Mm -hmm. Silicone, I can't even help you. Like silicone is permanent. I can't even dissolve it. It would have to be a plastic surgeon who will physically cut the lip open, scrape mm -hmm. it out, and stitch you back up. Okay. Because that stuff will harden like plastic and stick to your skin. Not meant for lips. Wouldn't recommend it for cheek. Like it was intention. It was intended for acne scar filling at one point, but mm -hmm. we stepped away from it because. We just don't want to like risk. We don't want any permanent damage. So we've like stuck to like our dissolvables. So like, basically anything dissolvable is, is, is the probably the safer bet because God forbid it gets into a blood vessel mm -hmm. and you get an occlusion and the tissue starts to die. If it's not something dissolvable, you're in a really tough spot. If it's dissolvable, then one, that's safer for you. And two, at least if you ever wake up one day and you're like, I'm just not into this look anymore. Can mm -hmm. I start over? We can dissolve it and you can start fresh. Okay. Like you're not stuck, you know. It's just, mm -hmm. I, I like to stick, even as an injector, I stick to what I can dissolve. Mm -hmm. I don't use stuff I can't dissolve. Right. I do love radius, but I feel like if you're going to look into radius because it's longer lasting and comes with more product, mm -hmm. it's killer for jawline and chin. Mm -hmm. But if you're new, maybe you want to start with something dissolvable mm -hmm. for uh, as your first. If you really love it and you're ready to commit to a filler that's going to mm -hmm. stay longer like a radius, mm -hmm. try it with a dissolvable first. Because mm -hmm. if you put a radius first and you don't like it, you can't you can't do anything about it. It's already in there. Yeah. You have to wait the, God forbid, like 12 to 14 months before it dissolves, maybe even 18, you don't know. Mm -hmm. So I tell people, if you're new and you're dipping your toe into fillers, stick to the dissolvable stuff. And if you know, oh my God, I wish it would look like this all the time, I'm sure I love it, mm -hmm. then step into the big girl stuff like the radius right yeah and there's only certain injectors that will inject that because of it not being dissolved but it's beautiful when it's mm -hmm. in there yeah. like if you fall in love with how snatched cheeks look and you're ready for something more long term then go radius for your next one like okay. if you fall in love with this and you're like i wish it would stay like this for almost two years then maybe we need to hit you with the radius because okay. that's what i have in my cheeks i did lift first which is what's in yours and i was like love it want it to stay mm -hmm. tried radius the next time because i was ready to commit oh okay she's giving a lot of information the full console yeah the full console is a here. lot of information yeah. you guys are always asking me mm -hmm. about a lot of the fillers that i really don't sorry <laughs> that's okay you guys are always asking me about a lot of the fillers that I really don't know about and she kind of gave you the whole rundown on what type of fillers that you should be injected mm -hmm. with, how old you should be, mm -hmm. um, around the 25-ish. You might want to look at preventatives. Yeah, preventatives. Yeah. And like she gave you everything. So um, if you guys have any more questions, is it okay for them to be sent to your yeah. Instagram? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can so go to our Skin Perfect Rancho Cucamonga Instagram. It's literally Skin Perfect Rancho Cucamonga mm -hmm. or Trish Talks Beauty. You can like, I like answering questions. Oh, but if you go sure. to my Instagram, like I have, I created my Instagram to be almost like a patient portal mm -hmm. where I have categories in the highlights about different topics right. of the most frequently asked questions mm -hmm. so people can browse it. And then if there's questions I didn't answer there, you can always just DM it to me and I'll answer. I don't have a problem with Pretty it. Pretty cool. So I'm going to make sure I link all her information below. I'm going to actually um, link the the company's information as well, like their website, their mm -hmm. Instagram, and anything you need to know, you can actually ask her because mm -hmm. I would not know the answers to mm -hmm. some of the questions. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry you guys had to wait a little bit longer. I had to make sure that I had the right answers mm -hmm. for you guys mm -hmm. before I tried to answer them yeah. myself. So she can definitely help you with that and mm -hmm. I hope you guys, I hope this was very, very helpful to you guys. This is going to be two videos by the oh, way. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Whatever you need to do. Okay. <laughs> and it is done, you guys. So make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell. And it's about to die. <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs>